Previously on Redundant Kitchen Technology, Andrew developed an abusive relationship with a non-branded muffin maker. Jesus, ow! Sting burn. After many attempts to make the relationship work, the two finally separated, but still remain close friends. Uh, look, it, it really just wasn't working out. Ouch! The time of year we celebrate nailing that carpenter to a wooden cross. Ironic. Well, there goes half the audience. It's also a rather unusual time where masses of people who don't consider themselves religious decide for a day they will be religious and abstain from eating meat and flesh. Personally, I'm not religious on any day of the year, so this year for Good Friday, I ate a panda. At the same time as all of this, it just so happens to be the Easter Bunny's birthday. To celebrate this occasion, I'll be wearing these accessories for the rest of my life. Or this video, whichever comes first. We've got some bunny ears, a bow tie, and a fluffy tail. You can pick these up at a $2 shop or a sex shop. The only difference really is the price and how you choose to wear them. Right, well that's not comfortable. Now because Easter is all about slowly killing off those you know and love by giving them unhealthy fatty treats, today I'll be making my own Easter eggs by using Maxim's chocolate making kit. If you'd like, you can pick up a similar product at your local electric or retail store, an opportunity shop, or even the tip. They're quite common and will only cost you your dignity. The interesting thing about the chocolate making kit is that it doesn't actually make chocolate. In essence, it's a chocolate fondue kit. It even comes with these mini forks and a spatula that could double as a trowel. Included in the chocolate melting kit are some molds. You've got the entire alphabet, perfect for spelling out words which express your feelings about this product. We won't need any of those though because I'll be using this silicon mold to make eggs for my nieces and nephews. The first thing we need to do is melt down some chocolate. I'll be using this chocolate egg. Ah. Let's get cooking. Often we feel obliged to give Easter eggs to co-workers or friends and family that we don't really care about. A really good subtle way to show your hatred towards these people while still giving them an egg is to give them an inferior product. My inferior product of choice is compound chocolate. Whilst at first compound chocolate might look like normal chocolate, the truth is it doesn't actually contain real milk. Its main ingredients are sugar, oil, cocoa and milk powder. So what? What difference does it make? I hear you ask. Once you take a bite, it soon becomes apparent. Compound chocolate coats the inside of your mouth with a thin film that stays with you for hours. You'll often find people scraping it off the roof of their mouth with their fingernails. <laughs> it's very glamorous. If you'd like to get an idea of just how bad compound chocolate is, but can't afford one dollar for six eggs, you could try eating paraffin wax, a candle, or some unscented soap. Andrew Ward and the Andrew Ward fiasco do not endorse eating any of these items. Now our chocolate's melted, it's time to put it into the mold. So my question is, thirty dollars for this, or just melt your chocolate in a bowl resting in some hot water? Throw that in the fridge to set, and wait. So, how have you been? Now we'll get these out, glue them together, there it is, and finally wrap them in some tin foil. Homemade Easter eggs using melted down Easter eggs and this bullshit chocolate maker. Let's see how it's received. What is it? It's an Easter egg, I made it myself. Happy Easter! Yeah. Go on, eat it. Buy them, just buy them. Don't do this. Nobody cares. Eat it! They look sh and they don't taste much better. Eat it! Put it in your mouth! I'm just gonna throw this whole thing in the bin. Thanks to those of you who voted on the question, Am I Crazy? from the previous video on the Andrew Ward Fiasco Facebook page. The results show that while a few of you think I am, the majority of you don't. And a couple of people like pie. Anyway, subscribe to the Andrew Ward Fiasco for free by clicking on this giant button. If you don't do it, I'm gonna give you a compound chocolate for Easter. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Missed out on a previous installment? Click on one of these links to view more of the Andrew Wood fiasco.